Hello there. My name is Udit and you're watching Prefully's Facebook Production Engineering Systems Interview Guide. The systems interview is an important component of Facebook's production engineering hiring process. It aims to test how well you know the underlying workings of a Linux system. The reason for this is at Facebook and for that matter at any company that operates at tremendous scale, you're going to encounter brand new systems level problems that have probably never been seen before or for that matter solved for before. This interview tries to understand if you have the skills to do this kind of never done before problem solving. This guide has been put together after talking to an array of Facebook production engineering candidates, experts and recruiters. So it's got a lot of tips and tricks on how to prepare for this interview. At the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of topics that are likely to come up and not come up in the Facebook systems interview so that you can then create a preparation plan around these themes. Let's start. So in a nutshell, there are two possible directions a Facebook systems interview can take. The first is Linux and Unix internals. This, these test your fundamental knowledge of how these systems work. The second is troubleshooting, which is about how well you translate this knowledge into real world problem solving skills. It's possible that an interview covers just one topic in a lot of depth, but some interviewers might cover a breadth of topics which touch upon both. So let's talk about the first type, Linux internals. In this section, the interviewer is trying to understand your knowledge of Unix and Linux internals, not just the theory, but your understanding of what's happening under the hood. You'll be asked questions around low level systems knowledge since this is generic across applications. Some examples of topics which usually come up are around the Unix file system structure, memory management, signals and signal handlers, uh, the differences between processes and threads and how processes work when it comes to their creation, execution and destruction, systems calls and topics such as this. It's super unlikely that you'll be asked about specific software packages such as MySQL and their functioning at Facebook's version of this interview. Other companies which care much more about experience in these specific apps might make that an important part of their interview too. If you're looking for a primer on how to get started with these fundamentals, Andrew Tannenbaum's Modern Operating Systems is a great book and we've added a link within our description below. The next question then is troubleshooting. Through asking this sort of question, an interviewer is trying to understand how well you translate the theoretical knowledge and understanding of the fundamentals that you have into real world problem solving skills. So they're basically evaluating two things. Firstly, are you aware of the tools which are available for you to diagnose the problem? Are you familiar with the data they can provide, the limitations of this data and how to use them? And secondly, they're testing your approach. How you investigate an observation until you isolate the root cause. Do you go stutter fire across all possible hypotheses or do you have a structured mechanism to break down an observation and navigate your way towards identifying a problem? The initial problem statement you receive in this kind of troubleshooting interview will often be pretty vague. For instance, the page is loading really slowly. There's meant to be a lot of back and forth and your interviewer will slowly guide you down a path. So you'll need to keep on iterating and going deeper until you find that root cause. For this type of interview, there's a few things worth keeping in mind. The first is that no one tool or command is likely critical, but a familiarity with the spaces and knowing how to apply that knowledge is pretty important. Secondly, all levels from the kernel to the user space are up for discussion. So this interview can actually cover a lot of ground. And thirdly, to get good at this, it might actually be worth doing some real troubleshooting. Use some tools for tracking and isolating systems level performance issues, review logs, and then you'll find your interview being a reflection of things you're already experienced with doing. So that's all for this interview. Keep in mind, the goal isn't here to answer every single question correctly. Your interviewer is probably just going to keep on asking questions until you run out of answers. The important part is to demonstrate your thought process and to be dynamic to new evidence and facts as your interviewer presents them. After all, in real life, you'll be facing new and unexpected scenarios 
all the time. And this interview type is meant to simulate that. I hope you found this useful. When you feel ready, we'd recommend booking a mock interview with one of our Facebook production engineers for some real world practice. They really put you through the paces so you end up with some practice for the interview and can also assess if you're ready for the real thing. There's a link in the description below where you can book such a session for yourself. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Our website is prepfully.com. We've got lots of interview questions there. You can also schedule a mock interview with one of our experts. You can find the link in the description below. And we hope you totally rock your interview.